solo album. Expected to do 4K. It hurt me today when I had to tweet that out. But, you know, in my relations with what I do and also, you know, speaking with rappers, I've been called to the carpet a bunch of times to say, hey, not because you're okay or you're cool or you like a rapper means you don't report their sales. Because of obviously it was a little com conflicting today, me tweeting it out. I knew people instantly were going to start joking on him. But I tweet out everything. Should I shield artists? I would say no if I don't pick favorites. Which means if one of my favorites flops, I'm going to let y'all know what it is too. Um, I don't think Namir should be shocked by these sales. 4K, I'm going to give you an interesting stat. YB and Namir's Vision Land in its first week sold less than DDG's album Die for Respect in the second week. DDG's on pace to do 5K this week. He did 12K last week. Unfortunately for Namir, the time has come and the time has passed. And by the way, I do think Namir is getting a lot of unnecessary quote unquote hate. But I'm here to give and ring the bell for all the rappers who are in the game. The era is over. And a lot of y'all fit this bill. I'll tell you what bill this is. In 2018, there was a very popular trend of non-street niggas who used to talk street shit. And if you listen to Namir rubbing off the paint, if you listen to people like even Rich the Kid, who was talking about he was dripped out in v loan and Off-White, but he'll still catch a body. If you listen to a lot of those rappers who were pretty much, there were the swag gangsters, it used to fly. In 2021, people rather listen to the real. The rea they, they actually listen to, rather listen to the actual gangsters, the Pushaisis, the Dirks, and everybody else who they know is in the field. Young boy, of course, included. The people who were swag rapping gangsterism, and by the way, I'm going to include Smoke Perp. He used to rap about all type of guns he had. Again, the real street rappers eradicated y'all. I'm being very, very honest. Your raps are not believable. They don't hit the same. When they, people see Pooh Shiesty, they think he's a real shooter. When they see Namir, they think he's a GTA role player. Be very honest. A lot of times rappers don't understand the concept of lightning in the bottle. A lot of this shit's lightning in the bottle. Y'all have a little error where you shock or you amaze people. And within that time period, people care. A year later, they don't. A lot of rappers take time off because they think they have the luxury of coming back to the same climate. They don't. Why be in the mirror? And I, I won't even comment yet on the album. I'm commenting on the climate that's just not conducive to him. Why be in the mirror has been out since I believe 2017. And he's dropping his 2017, 2018. I'm going to say 2017. And he's dropping his first solo album four years later. What happened is rubbing off the paint, was an instant hit. Signed to Atlantic, of course, there was fucked up deals in and in between all that situation. And once that happened, he did one of the biggest rookie mistakes you could do. Again, I don't blame him because he was young. And even when I discuss these artists, I'm not blaming them because you've never been in that situation. You look for people to guide you. And sometimes the people around you, which... Trust me, is the case with Namir. Some of them were just taking advantage of him. Namir went on tour. He went overseas. He went. He basically toured for the next two years off of pretty much one song or two songs and then a collective mixtape because just like what used to happen back in the day, when 50 got on, he put G Unit on. Namir got on, he tried to put YBN on. So he dropped a, a group mixtape. But again, out of sight and off the scene usually means out of mind. And what happened? I knew Namir was in trouble. I saw Namir, who has, I believe, over three or four million followers. Actually, I'll look it up right now. Probably even more. And 
And by the way, I say all this because I really like Namir. He has 3.8 million followers. Namir was on Instagram Live one day with 250 people watching. People aren't interested anymore. Grand opening, grand closing. Shit's over. We're going to see a lot of these artists, and I, and, and I, was, uh, I wasn't necessarily talking about Namir, but he fits the bill. Remember I told you there's a bunch of artists that were popping in 2017, 2018. The, they didn't disappear. They're just fucking shook to drop, drop an album. The album is a stamp. You're over. Namir had a song that popped. Appa Stoppa, kind of moving. You're going to see a lot of artists from 2018 become singles artists, and I recommend them to be that because they don't have a fan base anymore. A label is willing to spend enough to make sure they recoup, but most of these dudes, they're done. Nobody cares about your music anymore. This is not 2018. 2018, three years ago, is a long time ago. Lil Pump shouldn't be dropping an album. Smoke Perp shouldn't be dropping an album. A lot of these dudes shouldn't be dropping an album. And some of them are in denial. When they do drop an album, they'll see what it is. But when you drop an album, numbers come with it. And when people see you're doing 2K, 3K, 4K, it's over. Unfortunately for Namir, while I think he sacrificed a lot of his career to put YBN on, YBN Almighty J, I think he's cool and, you know, he does his thing. I think he hops in and out of music. But even YBN Corday, he shed the YBN title. It looks right now that YBN might be a rap. As far as the album quality, I'll just say this, and maybe I'm being nice. I don't think it's as bad as I'm seeing social media say. But th this is the thing about social media, too. Social media is here to build you up, but they're here to take you down, too. Why be in the mirror? I'll go to YouTube. I've never seen this before. He has a song. Look at this. Why be in the mirror? He has a song. Called something soul. It's called Soul Train. It's one of the highest. Look, 324,000 views. One of the highest viewed videos that came from a song on his album. And it's really just the audio, really. I don't even have to start the song. gracefully and, and and like they should know sometimes they put me in this little hater thing yo act be hating bro i'm telling y'all some shit what these motherfuckers you see recently when i started like like we're gonna get to them bum ass niggas later but you see now bro let me tell you this i've been covering this hip-hop shit since 2011 bro You see why, I, like, a lot of these rappers, I be, I be telling them, like, yo, y'all are in and out. Y'all are hot as fire. Then later on, it's not that same. I'm trying to steadily incline. I've been telling a bunch of these rappers who I've been cordial with from 2017 and 2018, all of y'all must grow. If you don't grow, you will die. And some of them say, yo, act you hating. Yo, word, you don't fuck with me no more. It's not that, my brother. Lil Pump, nobody wants to hear that shit no more. You want me to turn the mic up? I'll turn the mic up. Lil Pump, nobody wants to hear you motherfucking do the same type of Gucci gang flow anymore. It's over, brother. 6 9 people want to get some stuff, substance from you. 
the gang gang shit, whatever, whatever, it just seems kind of superficial now. Who else? Just name me rappers. Just name me all type of rappers from 2017, 20. I'll, I'll give, give you the criticism, all of them. Lil Uzi has grown. Lil Uzi's grown. Trust me, Lil Uzi is rapped more. I remember in 2016, 2017, you would have to Google old videos of, of Uzi in Philly to see him rapping. He's rapped more. Lil Tech is about experience with what um and, and I could tell if somebody is here around Tekka, please send this video to him. Tech is about experience when the mirror is experiencing. It's only one time we're cool with you rapping about two twin glocks, bro. This last album was a letdown. The next album, you're gonna look really crazy. Grow. And growth is usually very scary. But if you don't want to be ending up on my Twitter page selling 3K, and I'm pretty sure Namir didn't think he was going to sell 4K. You need to grow before you get to that point. Lil Yachty is in a good system. And even Lil Yachty is trying to grow here or there. To be honest, I think Lil Yachty is trying to pivot in might bounce out of hip hop. I think he's doing some I think he could get into TV film acting some other shit. Ugly God, we haven't seen you in a while. Blue Face, you might just be a reality sh show star if you don't go do some stuff. That's all I'm going to say. So, as I look at it for why be in the mirror I I I, I kind of lamented having to tweet that out today. I said to myself, I feel like when I tweet this out because I know everyone's going to talk about the numbers, I'm going to ruin his day. And I and I like Wabi in the mirror, but men lie, women lie. The numbers don't. You can't avoid those numbers. If I'm the mirror, I wouldn't have dropped an album. I would have dropped single after single, single after single till I got one. But a lot of these artists. Some of them feel entitled to that first fanfare they got when they got a hit. As I always tell people, fame is fleeting. Until you become infamous, after whatever you're popular for for your five minutes or you went viral or whatever, that fame only deteriorates. It doesn't grow unless you keep doing things to can maintain it and make it grow. Namir, unfortunately, in the grand scheme of things, you wouldn't call him a one-hit wonder, but his peak was definitely his, 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 his very first song, which is sad. Namir, I love you. I hope you figure it out. Um, it, takes, it takes more than just talent. Sometimes it takes soul-searching. It takes soul surgeon, honestly. Again, look at this video. He's waving around guns. Actually, it was cool at that point. It was like, yo, probably about that life. These days, the niggas who would be listening to this and kind of believing it, they listen to Pooh Shiesty. Yeah. Very sad. Do I consider it a flop? Absolutely.